We're here today looking at a project we recently completed. It's a small condo. Well, it's not that small, but it's a condo in Vancouver. So I'm gonna take you through behind the scenes and show you what we did. So, I'm gonna bring you into a really fun little room. Um, this was actually meant to be a storage room, but we turned it into kind of a fun butler's pantry. When you're living in a small space, every square foot counts. So we added grass cloth to the back wall to really give some depth to the room. And again, like working with really great texture. And then we filled this with all the things you would need in a, in a butler's pantry. So maybe some of your food storage. I mean, my food storage at home doesn't really look this pretty. <laughs> but yeah, some beautiful pastas. We've got lots of drinkware, a little bar cart with my favorite, favorite cocktail book that I actually use all the time at home. It's every kind of spritz. My favorite drink is an Aperol spritz, so. Yeah, it's a great place to come mix a drink, store some food, have caterers come if you're having a party. So we really made the most of this teeny tiny little space. Fun fact about this project, we actually had about four weeks to design, source, purchase, execute, and style. Um, that was our deadline from the client. And we did that all in the middle and peak of the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic. So that presented a ton of challenges in and of itself, but it couldn't have been more timely to design a home office since we are all at home now, working from home. Um, this was initially designed to be a second bedroom, a smaller second bedroom, but we turned it into an office. And we, again, worked on texture and kind of these muted colors. So we added a grass cloth to the walls that just has this soft green hue. And we painted the ceilings out to kind of match it. Added this light fixture that I absolutely love. Um, I love that it actually shines light up on the ceiling instead of down. It kind of just gives an added softness. And then we added this plug-in sconce, which is super fun because like seeing the cord is actually part of the design and you don't need to do renovations to add a plug-in sconce. So we love to work with those. And then again, we used this like linen textured desk. We found a remnant of carpet from our carpet supplier and had it made and cut and bound in this really funky organic sort of kidney shape. Um, again, because they love working with curves. And then just to bring everything back to the living room, we tied in that burgundy that you saw in the millwork with this Plattner chair. Um, and it's upholstered in a mohair, which has the best texture and is indestructible. This is one of my favorite rooms. One of the design challenges in here was this Claire Story window up on this headboard wall. I think those can just be tricky because people don't know how to cover them with a window covering properly or where to place your headboard. But what we did was had custom drapes made for the whole wall. So if you want natural light, you have them open and we have a little peekaboo piece of art above the bed. But at nighttime, when you want your blackout for your beauty sleep, you can just totally close them over the piece of art. You get total blackout and then you have this really soft, textural romantic fabric wall behind your head, which I love. These are kind of a signature pillow that we've started doing. They're very 60s, very retro, but we did it in a really simple modern fabric, which I think just gives more of a modern feel to it. These guys are one of my favorite little lamps. They're sort of underscaled, which I think is actually really interesting. And then we found a, again, vintage ceiling lamp. And I love working with vintage. Sometimes I think they did it better in the 60s and the 70s. And those pieces obviously have stood the test of time, so you know that they're really well made. And then this piece here gives counting sheep a whole new meaning in the bedroom. But I just loved how whimsical and playful it was. So I thought that that was super fun. We've got these big marble plinths, another dried floral arrangement. 
And then a little collection of ceramic wall sculptures that are also made by a Vancouver artist. And then I also wanna show you a piece of art that I absolutely love. It's this night soiree flag. And I just think design should sometimes be playful and not so serious. And I feel like with our little goat and this, I think it just adds like a playful, relaxed element to a bedroom that otherwise is fairly formal. It's very symmetrical. We use really luxurious materials like a really fluffy wool carpet, really beautiful linens on the bed. When I'm picking art for a project, I really like to focus on collecting different mediums in the space. So even just in the bedroom alone, you'll see we have this linen textile piece. We have a framed print. We have the lighting, which I consider to be art that is like metal sculpture. And then we also have the wall sculpture. And then at the end of the hallway, we actually have a painting on canvas as well. So even just in, within this one room, the collection of art is very collected. It's, you know, not all one of the same, which I think helps to just bring more interest to the space.